Hmm, government adopted these recommendations. But they proposed one fiscal council to review these targets. So, who will review? In the first year, 2017 18, according to this committee, what is the target of fiscal deficit? 3%. And government post? 3.2. Reason bhi de diya tha unhone. Escape clause to hai na 0.5%. So we have lag room. Chhe. For a developing country, 3% of fiscal deficit is more or less comfortable. So there is no harm in having 3.2, 3.5, nothing. It is always good. It's all about primary deficit. If you're borrowing just to pay interest, that is detrimental. Is you're accumulating another loan. Government expenditure. First one, in the flow chart, I have dictated that we will discuss the plan versus non-plan expenditure. So although we do not have this type of distinction in the present context of Indian economy, we have abolished the distinction of plan versus non-plan after the abolishment of planning commission. So till the year 2017, it means the last five year plan ended in March 2017. So after March 2017, we've done away with the, this particular distinction of plan versus non-plan. But we will discuss because it is important to understand capital and revenue expenditure. We have to discuss this. Plan versus non-plan, so you write. Or you first just understand what is plan. <coughs> Suppose, for example, um, this was the amount in the first five-year plan. This was the total amount, exact amount of a first five-year plan spent in the Indian economy. 1960 crore. Sorry. <laughs> 1960 crore. So, under this first five-year plan, government allocated this amount to spend in the economy. Now, whatever the amount this is, this is known as plan expenditure. Now, apart from this, suppose for example, whenever we are moving towards second five-year plan, it means in the first five-year plan, if you remember, India invested a lot of amount in irrigation projects. And you know that these irrigation projects are long term, like Bhagra and Uncle Dam. It's a long term project. Obviously, that will not end in the duration of this particular five year plan. It will go beyond 1956. Are you with me? Obviously. Then, in the second five year plan, whatever the amount will be invested or spent just to maintain the projects initiated in the first five year plan. That will come under non-plan expenditure. So expenditure done for the planning purpose, for that particular plan, comes under plan expenditure. And apart from, it means whatever the expenditure done by the government outside the five-year plan, this is called non-plan expenditure. That you mean? So suppose you have invested a lot of amount in second five-year plan to build industries. In the third five-year plan, you will pay some amount to maintain that industry. That will come under non-plan expenditure. Anyway, so now you will tell me that by the years, it means from first five-year plan to twelfth five-year plan, which type of expenditure will go up at a faster pace? Plan or non-plan? Non-plan, non obviously. Because till this point, if something requires any maintenance of Bhakra and Angal Dam, that will also come under non-plan expenditure and that is an expenditure for the first five-year plan. So obviously non-plan expenditure, although both have increased, but non-plan expenditure increased at a faster rate. That was the main problem. Now these plan and non-plan expenditure both included capital as well as revenue. Getting my point? Here under this, there are both expenditure capital as well as revenue expenditure. Under non-plan, it also includes capital as well as revenue expenditure. Up to difference, capital revenue expenditure. 
So that actually makes some kind of confusion for the policy makers. That what amount of money we are spending for building assets and what to maintain that. So this creates confusion and by the year non-plan expenditure has started rising. So we'll write few lines then we'll discuss. So we write plan expenditure refers to <coughs> plan expenditure refers to developmental expenditure developmental expenditure incurred during incurred during the five year plan incurred during the five year plan now I write second non plan expenditure It is not the part of <coughs> it is not the part of five year plan. It is not the part of five year plan. That is that is expenditure done by the government. Expenditure done by the government other than five year plan, other than five year plan. other than five year plan full stop full stop it is a generic term it is a generic term full stop by the years by the years non plan expenditure by the years non plan expenditure has increased many fold has increased manifold has increased manifold in comparison to plan expenditure in comparison to plan expenditure okay. we have three important categories of this non plan expenditure major category so we will write a b c first one expenditure on law and order defense expenditure on law and order defense subsidies interest payments defense subsidies subsidies interest payments pension 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 uh, comma civil administration second point second one expenditure done on the maintenance of infrastructure expenditure done on the maintenance of infrastructure Uh, third point expenditure on the unfinished projects expenditure on the unfinished projects on programs and programs of the previous five year plans of the previous five year plans Done. So this is the difference between plan and non-plan expenditure. So obviously you will experience that the high amount of non-plan expenditure was the main problem. So planning commission was the authority to decide the plan expenditure, and who was deciding this non-plan expenditure? Planning commission. Planning commission is the sole authority, as the sole authority to decide the allocation of the funds. So yeah. that's the main difference. If you remember the discussion of planning commission versus Niti Aayog that we have done in your notes, likha. The main distinction is about finances. Under planning commission, finances were under that particular body. But after the uh, abolishment of planning commission, Niti Aayog does not have such powers. Now the role of finance commission starts. So it is a constitutional body. So whatever they will say, obviously it makes certain kind of weightage. People will trust the recommendation of finance commission, not the planning commission. Ready, my friend? 
Now this 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 distinction in the year 2012. There's one. There was one committee known as Ranga Rajan Committee set up by the government to review this distinction. It means government is thinking that non-plan expenditure has been increasing and increasing. So obviously no one wants that high amount of money will go to maintenance, non-developmental projects, etc. So government set up a committee under C. Rangarajan. Do you know that this person? Have you ever heard about this person, C. Rangarajan? The most important person in the government. So till the year 2014, barring few years of NDA government. Other than that, if economy is in trouble, government only goes to one person. This is that person. So, if there is problem, you go to the Lord. He was the Lord of the whole time. There will be no problem. In the bank, in the bank, in the disinvestment, in any case. There is a set up a Rangarajan committee. See, Rangarajan is the head. If you are frequently reading the Hindu newspaper, it comes to it. C. Rangarajan ka article hai. Nahi hoga toh Google se aap search kar se. C. Rangarajan was the most important person in the previous government. So government set up a committee under C. Rangarajan to review this distinction. That we should continue or discontinue this particular distinction. So there are few recommendations given by Rangarajan committee. So we write few lines. In the year 2012, in the year 2012, Government of India set up a committee. Government of India set up a committee under C. Rangarajan, under C. Rangarajan to review this distinction. To review this distinction. This distinction means plan versus non plan. Lick law break. So, you write. Small committee, few recommendations. So first recommendation. This distinction is dysfunctional. This distinction is dysfunctional and not relevant. And not relevant in the current economic situation. And not relevant in the current economic situation. And should be abolished. And should be abolished. So from the very first recommendation, you can understand. Second recommendation. It should be replaced with, it should be replaced with, it should be replaced with consumption and investment expenditure. It should be replaced with consumption and investment expenditure what's the meaning of consumption and investment expenditure another term for this is uh, revenue and capital so consumption expenditure is equivalent to revenue expenditure click law and capital expenditure is equivalent to investment expenditure Last recommendation. Government budget, government budget should be outcome based. Government budget should be outcome based and not the input. And not the input. Expand. Uh, <clears throat> so, so these are the recommendations of Rangarajan committee. I'll tell you. Today I'll teach you outcome budget. Then you will make it clear. What's the meaning of outcome budget? I'll explain later. Because I'll explain whole outcome budget. You will get the idea. See, so we'll not repeat the same thing. That is why. Uh, <clears throat> now this committee, you know that set up in the year 2012. What happened in 2014? Everyone knows. So, in the year 2015, this government set up a new committee under the chairmanship of Bimal Jalan. Have you heard about Bimal Jalan? Ex RBI governor. So, you write. In the year, in the year 
2015 government set up a committee under the name of government set up a committee under the name of expenditure management policy expenditure management policy headed by headed by ex rbi governor headed by ex rbi governor bimal jalan shall i read the spelling bimal jalan first recommendation government should abolish the distinction between plan and non plan but after the end of 12th five year plan but after the end of 12th five year plan in march 2017 because because government abolished planning commission because government abolished planning commission and replaced it by and replaced it by a think tank a think tank kya naam hai bhai think tank ka niti aayog so replaced by a think tank niti aayog what is the full form institution institute institution institute pakka sure इंस्टीट्यूशन इंस्टीट्यूट अर्जुन तो देख ही नहीं रहे हैं नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इंडिया ठीक है नीति आयोग इज अ थिंक टैंक आई डोंट नो क्या कर रहे हो चार साल से सोच ही जा रहे हैं तीन साल से जब से आए ठीक है सो दे हैव इनिशिएटेड सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजी विजन प्लान एटसेट्रा सो दिस नीति आयोग गेव सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ प्लान so you write first of niti ayog niti ayog published a 3 year action agenda or action plan a publisher 3 year action agenda or action plan Seven year strategy and fifteen year long term vision and fifteen year long term vision. So there is no term called five. because of the planning commission they don't want the number 5 here three year action plan the time period is 2017 18 to 2019 20 likh lo so action plan has started in the year 2017 18 obviously after the completion of 12th five year plan <clears throat> So this completes our discussion of distinction between plan, non-plan, as well as capital and revenue expenditure. <laughs>